Hello there guys, welcome back to Tax TV. thank you for joining as ever. So yes, it is match day tonight, very weird doing a video before match day. Uh, however, a bit of breaking news coming out, uh, and that is that uh, Barnsley winger Luke Thomas has left to join Ipswich Town on loan until the end of the season. Uh, if you get my opinion on that, drop a like on this video and subscribe, and also don't forget to check us out on the live stream watch along in the next uh, few hours, where we'll be obviously watching the game, uh, Watford v Barnsley, uh, looking forward to that of course, um, so yeah, it, it confirmed a few hours ago, I've been really busy today, uh, missus not too well, and uh, obviously I've had to do uh, things, help help out uh, best, best I can, uh, so hence why this is a little bit late, so forgive me for that, um, yeah, Luke Thomas, I think this is a really good move for him, and I can see why it's a loan. You know, some fans maybe say get him off the books for for good, not for you know nothing, per, nothing personal in that, but just maybe free wages. But I, there is times with Thomas, and and he's only twenty one. Uh, he struggled for games this season under Valley and Ishmael, and just maybe that loan move might do. This will do him the world of good, if you ask me personally. Like I said, he's not getting games. You look at players who, you know, have gone out on loan, come back, you know, that have started to do quite well for us this season. Adebayajo is a good example of that. Uh, Toby Sibic, you know, he's only, he's only featured the last two games since he came back, but maybe it all works out for him. But Thomas has been a very frustrating player, it has to be said. He has been a very frustrating player. Uh and you think of the managers he's worked under now, three different managers at the football club, and it hasn't worked out. Stendhal, Struber, and now Ishmael. Um, and you think it's so clear that the loan, this loan will do him the world of good. And the, and the reason I think it is loan, because I do still believe the club does see a future there, uh, does see a future player in there. Like I said, only 21 years of age. And hopefully, you know, he comes back next season a better player. Uh, because you're not going to get better by sitting on the bench or coming on for the last few minutes or whatever, playing regular, week in, week out, at maybe a level that at this moment is his standard, uh, and then you can improve your game. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's been, it's been obviously on the cards, I think, this window that Thomas would be leaving. Um, whether it be loan or permanent, but I think loan, loan, I have to say, is a good, good move, uh, rather than permanent, because again, there is times, you, you look at what he has, I know he's not done a lot, but you look at some things he has done, you know, like that Charlton game, where it, I think he'd come on as a sub, I think, last year, at the Valley, we lost 2-1, and he made that Woodrow goal with his pace, you know, if he can get up the ball, it's, it's all about control of the ball sometimes with Thomas, and, uh, yeah, definitely, really, really, ha really happy for him because he needs the game, the games. But I mean, to be fair, we say he's not featured a lot this season. He got a surprise start against Norwich in the new year, which I couldn't understand that at all because Adebayajo, he came in for Adebayajo, and I'm like, what? What has he done to justify a start? And he has come on in games and he has been on the bench for quite, uh, quite a while, but. As I said, you know, get him, get him playing games. I'm sure, listen, Ipswich, you know, they're obviously going to be a team that's going to be up there towards the end of the season. They wanted to get back in the championship. Um, and hopefully it, it works out for him. I really do. I, I really do. And he comes back and it works. And if it doesn't work, then maybe you have to say, well, maybe it's just not, it's just not, you need a fresh start somewhere else. But certainly... It do it definitely it definitely needed doing for me for Thomas um and and yeah that's all we can say really I've heard news as well that Blackpool are apparently after Schmidt um not sure how true I've only heard rumours but again that's another player who for me that 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 needs to happen because not going to get games here unfortunately it's again not worked out I know he scored a couple of vital goals the Millwall goal the goal against uh, Nottingham Forest at the, towards the end of last season but the style is nowhere near Schmidt's level at all um, it's it's not he's a, he's a goal scorer in the box you know 
midfield yard art, fox in the box type of player. He that's it. That's that's his game. That is it. Nothing else. And unfortunately, this style, what we play, requires a lot more physicality, and that's what Schmidt hasn't got. So, uh, yeah, I think another player who I would be, you know, happy to see off off the books, whether that be loan or permanent, because certainly he's no good to us sitting on the bench. And then we can maybe bring in a couple, one or two more new faces. I know there's not necessarily a huge amount of rumours speculating that, but it gives us that opportunity uh, because there is a lot of dead wood here at the minute. And I'm not saying Luke Thomas is dead. At the moment, he is to us, but hopefully, you know, he comes back the the player we need him to be and maybe start games and influence games when he comes on because he's not done that as well. We've seen him come on in games this season and he just don't make a difference. You may as well leave on a player. You may as well leave on the other player. Do you know what I mean? It's it, it's uh, and To be honest, you say that about a lot of the players sometimes, but certainly with Thomas, 100%. So, yeah, that's my opinion, guys. Anyway, best of luck to him and I hope he does come back a better player and I'm sure you guys all agree on that as well. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to get out of here. A few hours till kick-off. I'll see you all for that on the live stream. Watch along. I'm absolutely shattered, uh, so forgive me if I'm not as chatty as usual. I've had such a long day. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm sure you'll all be there to join anyway. So, thank you all for watching and I will see you all very, very soon. You Reds.